Hello YouTubers, I'd like to talk to you about velocity. There's always a lot of hype about velocity. Shot shell companies competing for more and more velocity. Yeah, Remington Hyper Steel 1700 plus and others. And it makes one wonder, how much velocity does one need? Well, first of all, the shells are rated on muzzle velocity. Velocity coming out of the muzzle, right at the end of the barrel, or close to it. Muzzle velocity is a specification that's kind of like gross pay on your check. It's a comparative specification that essentially doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, you can use it for comparison, but in reality, where it counts, it doesn't. Whereas, with gross pay, you don't see it. You have some amount that's considerably less after deductions. With muzzle velocity, um, your velocity quickly drops once the pellets leave the barrel. It's not like a rifle bullet. With a rifle bullet you might have say 2,500, 3,000 feet per second leaving the muzzle and 500 yards down range it might be close to that still. That's a totally different animal. That's because you have a, a slender projectile that's spinning. But with round pellets and they got to be round, because if they're not, they'll fly all kinds of weird directions. The way aerodynamics work on them, they build up and they slow them down. Now, as the speed increases, as velocity increases, the air resistance slowing the pellets down increases a lot exponentially, kind of in a logarithmic type fashion. So in other words, if the velocity, say you got a certain amount of penetration in a bird at say 40 yards at 1300 feet per second, and you go, well, if I go 1700 feet per second, it's going to go one and a half times as far through the bird. Not necessarily true. What happens is, although it will leave the gun faster, it will slow down faster. So at say up to 20, 30 yards, that higher velocity definitely makes a big difference. But once you get down range 40, 50, 60 yards with waterfowl, a lot of that extra velocity is going to be gone. It's not going to be very much different than the lower velocity shell. Now here I'll demonstrate with a balloon. If you take a balloon, because this is round shaped, of course it's not massive like a pellet is, but it's got the round shape. Now, if I tap it to somebody, there's a small air current here, so that's a, avoid that, but anyway, you tap it to someone across the room, it gets there. However, I don't know if you saw that, let me do that again. got there at a certain speed. It, it did get there. Now, with more velocity, as you can see, it did go somewhat farther. So I hit it more than twice as fast, and it didn't go more than twice as far. But, one thing that you should have noticed, I don't know if you did or not, is it got there faster. And that's probably the key point with the higher velocity, is it gets there faster. So if you're shooting at ducks or geese, or whatever you're shooting at, and say you have a tendency to hit towards the back of the bird with a lower velocity shell, if you put a higher velocity shell in there, you're going to hit closer to the head, the head inoculate, which is a good thing. 
so it'll help you with your lead. It's kind of like a drag race with, you know, top fuel dragsters, for instance. They both leave at the same time, but you'll notice one of them will get go past the uh, timer, they say four and a half seconds, and the other one went past it, say, four and three quarter seconds, and the one that was going at four and three quarter seconds was going faster, but it didn't get there first. And the slower pellet will never, ever catch up with the fast pellet. How much do you actually need? According to Tom Roster, Tom Roster is the researcher in steel shot. Probably knows more than anyone. Yeah, I've been researching it since the 70s, I think. There's a YouTube video that was done around 1980 with Steel Shot. It's worth watching. It's kind of long, but it's, it's worth watching that he does. And anyway, he says you need, I think it's 1350 plus or minus 25 or something. That's, that's the minimum you need for good penetration at, say, 40 yards. And I've shot many geese with my 10 gauge with shells that were around the 1350 range and I've knocked them down in 80 yards but I've had to lead them quite a distance I've also used higher velocity shells and didn't have to lead them as far another disadvantage to higher velocity a disadvantage is that it will tend to blow the shot it will blow the pattern because steel, unlike lead, is not malleable. And it goes down the forcing cone, and then down the barrel, then through the choke. It's pushed inward. It's kind of like a bunch of people trying to run out of a theater when someone yelled fire. They're going to bounce off of each other. And that's what the steel pellets do. And in doing so, it throws them off into all kinds of directions. A really good choke that can handle high velocity will still keep a tight center of pattern even though there'll be some flyers. But the faster your velocity is, uh, it's going to downgrade your pattern. But patterns don't kill birds. Pellets kill birds. So all you need is one or two pellets in a vital area to bring a bird down. So that's the important thing. So that's the choice you have to make, whether you want to shoot higher velocity or lower velocity shells. You definitely don't really want to go under 1300, unless you're shooting doves or something. Because that's, that's getting to where your penetration is going to be in jeopardy. I've killed probably a, a lot of waterfowl, probably most of it, with shells around the 1400 range. That's a good velocity that holds a good pattern with steel shot. But I've also killed geese with 1650, 1700. I had one that I shot out of a 12 gauge gun that was almost 1800 feet per second. One pellet hit it. I could only find one hit. But it went inside tore through the liver and bounced around and that's all it took. I hope you got something out of this video. I try to provide people with information. If you think I'm wrong, call me out on it. I welcome your comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.